hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks i really appreciate your coming and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church banner using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started now here i'm going to use 10 by 20 feet but in photoshop there is no fit unless you have to do the calculation and do the conversion in inches or pieces so now i'm going to use inches instead of feet to avoid my system being slow all right now i'm going to enter 20 by 10 20 by 10 inches reduce the resolution to 72 if you are designing with feet that is 120 by 240 that is the normal size for the banner the 20 is 240 while the 10 is 120 inches so i'm not going to use that number i'm going to keep low with this number to avoid my system being slow all right click on great then before then this is not for printing i'm doing it for social media then i'm going to change it from cmyk to rgb then click on great so this is our working background now then i'm going to copy this color code which you will see on the screen ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to import the images i'm going to use in the background from my resource file then this is the first image i'm going to import then scale it out something like this then i, I will bring it down this way then click ok then i'm going to blur it go to filter then select blur gaussian blur then i'm going to enter 20 by 8 then you click ok now select the layer then go to your layer mask and i'm going to blend it then here yeah, you have to change it then i'm going to basic then i'll select this one then click ok then make sure that here is multiply all right so i will leave it this way now i'm going to my blending mode and i will change it to soft light something like this then go back go to the next image and i'm going to make use of this image then scale it out then I'm going to bring it down this way and reduce the size like this. It's okay. Then click on OK. Now, so I'm going to do the same thing like just what I did to the first one, but I'm not going to apply blur on this one. So the first one, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, or you press G using your keyboard. Then I'm going to blend over here. All right, so like this, it's okay like this. Then I'm going to drop my pen. So having done this, the next thing I'm going to do again is to draw a rent angle line at the bottom here then select your rectangle or you press u using your keyboard then i'm going to draw this line over here leave the color at white then now i'm going to group this one ctrl plus g to group and this is my background So 
now select your rent angle then pick this cycle hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle i'm going to make it bigger like this then i'll leave it at white background then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then hold your alt key while you drag it like this okay then i'm going to change this color then i will change this color or this color any color you want then you can change it then i'm going to change it to this color then hold your alt key again i'm going to make it like this okay i don't want the border to that much or all, all right then i'm going to duplicate this one again ctrl plus j then i'm going to change the color of this one something like this all right now hold your alt key then i will drag it in like this then okay this one now i'm going to duplicate this one again ctrl plus j then i'm going to change the color of this one to something something like this it's okay then hold your alt key and you drag again the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to rasterize all this layer then right click rasterize it right click then you rasterize it right click this one then rasterize it and right click this one while you rasterize it okay then i'm going to select the first one then pick your lasso tool or press l then i'm going to click somewhere around here i'll select somewhere around here then something like this then join it together now i'm going to delete it then select this one then use your arrow key then to draw this one this way because I want a white line to show around here then now I will now delete this one so you can see this line now okay so now having done this one so the next thing I'm going to do control plus D to deselect that lasso to there then I'm going to click on this one the one with the green color then hold your control key then i'll click on this one then turn off this one so that you will see what i'm going to do then select your eraser tool then select this one now i'm going to delete all right then ctrl plus d to deselect then turn off this one then you can see a white line there okay now then hold your control key then you click on this yellow one then go to the first cycle then you select it then i'll turn this one off so that i will see what i'm going to do then i'm going to delete the cycle there all right so this is the outcome of it now that you have this, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to, this one, I'm going to delete it or, or turn it off this way. Then this one, I'm going to leave it. Then select this one and I'm going to reduce the size. Hold your Alt key, then something like this. Okay. So, this place you have to watch it carefully to see what i'm going to do next having done with, with this one now then the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a rent angle then go to the first one 
then select your rectangle tool then I'm going to draw a rectangle line just like this then I'll bring it over here then I'll rotate it then bring it to the top of this one okay so that is okay then I'll bring it around here okay, right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to hold my control key then click on this rectangle line now select your eraser to go back to this one you see this layer which is this color you are seeing then I'm going to reduce the size of this brush now I'm going to clean off this place you can turn off the rectangle line so that you see all right then ctrl plus d to deselect you can see a line there okay then drop your tool then select your lasso tool and i'm going to cut out this place then i'm going to select somewhere and then pass through the middle then you combine it now right click here and what i'm going to do i'm going to cut the layer so when i cut the layer i will have a duplicate here so now you can see when i turn it off then you can see all right then go back and turn on your rent angle too then this rectangle now i'm going to bring it somewhere here then i'm going to rotate it like this something like this i'll rotate it something like this okay then click ok then you can turn it off again so that you see what you do then hold your control key while you click on that rectangle layer then select your eraser tool again come over to this layer and you clean it up by deleting it now ctrl plus d to deselect now go and select your lasso tool then i'm going to cut out this one then right click and cut it out all right so again go and turn on your rectangle and i'm going to bring it somewhere around here and rotate it this way then i'll bring it down like this all right then hold your control key again just like the way we have been doing then you click on this layer you can turn it off now then click on the one you are going to clean off select your eraser tool or you press e on your keyboard then you clean it off ctrl plus d to deselect now go and select your lasso tool then pass through the middle so that you're not cut out the, the cycle there then right click and make a cut all right so we are done now then i can now delete this red angle here now as you can see when you click now you can see them so you can see okay then this one this cycle i can delete it because i'm not going to make use of that one anymore all right so the one i'm going to make use is this one now that i'm done with this then i'm going to click on this first one then go back to your resource and i'm going to place an image in there so then among this image let me go for this one then import this one then position it well then i'm going to reduce the size then make sure that you make it in a way that it will fit inside so if this one is not going well with it 
then we can remove it okay not good so something like this all right then i'm going to click on this one now then go back to my resource file and i'm going to look for the image that we best suit in the in there then i'm going to play this one let me see how it's going to be i think this one is going to be nice in viewing then i will reduce the size then make sure it fits in something like this then you can now create a clipping mask something like this it's okay all right then select this one then go back to your resource file and i'm going to to put this image i think this image will be good this image will be okay will be okay there then i'm going to create a clipping mask you can see the image is okay here yeah? then if you want to create a flip then you can right click then you flip it i think this one is okay it's okay like this all right now select the last one then go back to your image then i'm going to import this image then reduce the size and um, who am i going to feature here now so okay let me feature this pastor here it will be nice then great a clipping mask all right so very good disclaimer place this image you are seeing all the image you are seeing here is for tutorial purpose so there is no program or there's no program anywhere like this so this image you are seeing here please is for tutorial purposes all right so that is very good now then i'm going to group them together so that i'm not going to mix it up with anything then i'm going to rename it something like this now i'm going to position it around here so I'll position it around here then i can increase the size like this so on this one now i'm going to click here then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this image so like i said disclaimer this images you are seeing here is for tutorial purposes so i mean no harm to anybody so thank you as you are following then i'm going to re remove the background so then i'm going to click on this my select object then click select object so as you can see not every part of the image is going i'm going to use so i'm going to leave it like this then i'll click on layer mask to remove the the area i don't need all right then right click and convert it to smart object i did then i'm going to reduce the size then i will position it in this cycle like this okay so just watch and see what i'm going to do now then as you can see now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on that cycle hold your control key while you click the cycle then click on this image 
select the image layer and grid a layer mask so you see okay now select the layer mask then come over here while you turn your your background to white then select your brush or you press b using the, your keyboard then i'm going to reduce the size of the brush while i'm going to clean up this area to reveal the image so we are done something like this so now we are going to our heading now then i'm going to all right i'm going to copy this one then Control plus c then go back to my resource file and i'm going to bring this image so this is going to be our logo in this tutorial then reduce the size i'm going to make the size smaller like this then come over here and i'm going to grid a cycle a cycle like this then change the color to white then select the logo then grid vertical and horizontal alignment then select the cycle increase the size this way then apply horizontal and vertical alignments once again so you see the white you cannot see the white then use your arrow key then to move it to this point okay then i will reduce the size a little then always zoom in and zoom out to see the outcome of your work now select your test tool then click Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to use the font railway. Railway. Then make it bold. All right, then you bring it down here, yeah. then go back to your tests. Then I'm going to copy this one, Control plus C to copy, then I light it, Control plus V to paste. Then now I'm going to increase the character spacing like this then i will reduce the size of the fonts then increase the character spacing all right so now the next one now i'm going to copy the test here select your test tool then come over here control plus v to paste then i'm going to reduce to minus 60 then increase the size something like this then i'm going to duplicate it control plus j then you drag it down then go back to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy and ctrl plus v to paste then increase the font size like this use your arrow key then to move it up then i'm going to group it so this is my test and this is present 
and I'm going to group this one as the heading. For my test now, I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then go to this your blending option, select bevel and emboss. Then make it chisel add. Then on the depth, I'm going to make it 188. Then the size, I'm going to make leave the size at this number 3. I'm going to increase the number to 13. Then the angle, leave the angle at 90 degree. And I'm going to make use of this contour. Then you leave the rest. Then go to your gradient tool. And I'm going to select this gradient which i made so this is the gradient under our document test then you will see the gradient field code here so this is the code for the gradients then i'm going to click ok all right now i'm going to apply a drop shadow so the drop shadow code i'm going to leave the opacity at 70 then and i'm going to leave the angle at 90 then the size i'm going to make it three then the spread four and the no sorry the distance three spread four and the size i'm going to make it 18 then my the gradient setting then everything is okay like this then i'm going to click okay here yeah. so you can see this is the outcome of it all right now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to copy this name here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool. Then come over here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to rotate it like this. And I'm going to place it over here, something like this. All right. Then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this date here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your font and change the font to Morganite. Then increase the font size. Then I'll bring it somewhere around here. Because I'm going to place the icon there. Then before I forget, then this our test here, I did not apply the font. So the font for this test then is Open Sans. So this is the font Open Sans. Then and I'm using bold. Then change the second one again, Prayer and Miracle. Change it to Open Sans, then bold. Then increase the size of this one. Alright. Use your arrow then to drag it up. Use your arrow then to drag this one up. Now I will go and bring this icon. And I will place it. Reduce the size. And I will place it over around here. Reduce the size. Then press Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. And I'm going to drag this one over here to apply white color. Something like this. Okay. Then and I'm going to copy this one again. Ctrl plus C. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus v to paste so the font i'm using on this one is open sans 
then you position it around here I'm going to increase the size a little bit then I'm going to copy this color code over here then control plus V to paste so here is the column I'm going to use for that so having done this one now then I'm going to copy this one control plus C to copy then select your rent angle to and I'm going to draw a rent angle like this then change the color to white background then select your test tool then control plus v to paste then i'm going to change the color then position it around here increase the size okay so now I'm going to group this as our date and time then open this design and I'm going to copy sorry I'm going to move this pastor name into it then go to your resource file and I'm going to drag this icon into our, the, our Photoshop then reduce the size then you position it around here reduce the size alright Ctrl plus U again, then you drag this white, then you click OK. So go back to your test, and I'm going to select my test. Then select your test tool, click here, and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy this color here then okay now i'm going to reduce the size so what i'm going to do now i'm going to bring this one added to this like this so as you can see that is it so this is the design so we are done with the design Thank you so much for watching and please remember to join my membership channel and also support me. If you really love what I'm doing, please join the membership channel. Thank you so much for watching and remember to like, share, comment.